Hello, my name is Dr. Tara Simmons, and I'm an instructor in the Department of Chemistry at the College of Lake County. I'd like to spend a few minutes to share some important information about our department with you. We have six full-time instructors whose collective disciplines include analytical, biochemical, medicinal, organic, physical, and polymer chemistries, as well as drug development research. With doctorate degrees in our fields, we are all experienced instructors and focused on teaching. We also have part-time and emeritus faculty teaching in the department. While most students that take chemistry courses are interested in pursuing careers in medicine, pharmacy, engineering, and allied health, there are other equally exciting careers in chemistry, such as forensic science, biotechnology, and food science. The department offers the following courses, chemical concepts, general chemistry one and two, elementary organic chemistry, chemistry for a changing world, organic chemistry one and two, and biochemistry. We have day, evening, and limited Saturday courses available at all three campuses. With our small class sizes, you will have ample opportunity to interact individually with your instructor. The laboratories at the Grays Lake campus are located in a new science building completed a few years ago. The video shows one of our general chemistry labs. The laboratories occupy two floors of the building with brand new hoods, monitors, benches, general laboratory equipment, and spectrophotometers. We also have two instrument rooms, one on each floor, and the photo to the right shows one of those two rooms. The organic chemistry laboratory allows students to obtain hands-on experience on various instruments involved in determining the structure of a molecule. We have gas chromatography mass spectrometer, where the uh, gas chromatography part will separate a mixture into its various components, and then the mass spec spectrometer will break the molecules into fragments and determine the mass of the fragments. We have a nuclear magnetic resonance spectrophotometer, which looks at the interaction between um, an external magnetic field and the nuclei of our molecules. And then lastly pictured, we have an infrared spectrophotometer, which will provide us information with how the compound will interact with ultraviolet sorry, with infrared light and will um, tell us what kind of bonds are present in the molecule. We also have a UV vis spectrophotometer, which is not pictured. All of these instruments are available for students to use and they will get hands-on experience with all of them. Okay, thank you for joining our virtual visit. Please do not hesitate to contact any one of us for more information. Our emails are shown here. Thank you.